fun. Anyway, he come and he he come upon him and he was reading. And Philip said to him, Understandest thou what you're reading? And he says, Well, how can I except some man show me? Is this man speaking of himself or somebody else? So what Philip done, he turned to Isaiah chapter 53 and he read that to him and then he preached Christ to him. He showed that Christ was the fulfillment of that prophecy. And you know that Ethiopian believed and he said, what prevents me from being baptized? He said, there's plenty of water. So Philip took him down into the water. It, it's just to show you, you know. He didn't, he didn't shoot him in the face with some sprinkled water. He took, went down into the water and immersed him. Amen. Immersed him. But today, we made it easy for folks. Hey, they don't even, when they come up to receive Christ, they don't even have to pray. The preacher, repeat this prayer after me. Hey, that ain't repentance. You know, nobody can repent for you. And the Bible says there in Acts 2.38, repent and be baptized. Every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the remission of sins. You don't hear the, you don't hear the gospel of repentance anymore. Just come on up now, stand there, and repeat this prayer after me. Ain't nobody can pray for you for salvation. That's a personal thing between you and God. That just turns me livid when I hear people preachers say that. They make it so easy for people to go to hell. That's right. In closing this morning, I'm going to end this, my message this morning by the scripture I started with. Second Peter chapter 1, verse 16 through 19. For we have not followed cunningly devised fables when we made known unto you the power and coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, but were eyewitnesses of his majesty. For he received from God the Father honor and glory when there came such a voice to him from the excellent glory. This is my beloved Son in whom I'm well pleased. And this voice which came from heaven we heard when we were with him in the holy mount. We have also a more sure word of prophecy whereunto you do well that you take heed as into a light that shineth in a dark place until the day dawn and the day star arise in your heart. Amen.